Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Tuesday, July the 14th of 2015, and this is not the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT, even though it's temporarily in its spot. This is a Packard Bell that I ca that I became the owner of um, sometime last week. This is a, a Packard Bell Multimedia D135. If that model number sounds familiar, well, there's a good reason. I owned a Packard Bell Multimedia D135 at one time. Bought it at Value Village back in 2011 and owned it for several years until I um, sold it to the Power Mac Galaxy here on YouTube back in um, about a year ago, I believe. So, um, that computer served me very well and I now own another example of one. This is yet yet another Multimedia D135. This one's about two months newer, newer than the um, last one I had. Um, the last one was built in August of 1996. This was built in October of 1996, October the 21st to be precise. And um, I have to admit, I really don't know what I want to do with this computer right now. Um, I've got plenty of Packard Bells at the moment. Um, I got my main one, my Legend 822 CDT, sitting down there for now. My 402 CD back there, which is my bedside Packard Bell. My um, PB1750 CDT, which is my 486 Packard Bell. And my Workshop Packard Bell, the Legend 1510 Supreme. So, I really don't have anywhere to use this or any need to use this so I may um, I I think what I may do is just put it up in storage until I have a reason to use it but for now um, here it is I was just setting it up or storing it from its original master CD specs are um, 1.2 gigabyte hard drive 133 megahertz Intel Pentium and 16 megabytes of RAM. So, typical system for the time. And an 8-speed CD-ROM drive, which, believe it or not, still works. So, um, let's go ahead and um, fire it up. Uses the PB680 motherboard, also known as the, or the Orlando board. AMI BIOS has a Seagate hard drive, the original hard drive. CMOS battery is completely dead. I don't have one to put in it right now. I'll probably go to the store sometime tomorrow and grab one, but until then we'll just pretend that the year is 1990. <laughs> Running Windows 95, obviously. For some reason, this particular Packard Bell install um, likes to load scan disk every time um, Windows starts up. Wait, did I say scan disk? I meant scan disk! Probably something that can be fixed by removing a line from autoexec.bat. Alright, we're now at the working desktop. And it is not Monday, January 1st, 1990. <laughs> Again, I need a new CMOS battery for this. Go into System Properties. Would show the back of the machine, but it's kind of difficult right now. It's up against the wall. Got an S3 Trio 64V Plus. Much nicer than um, some of the more higher-end Packard Bells of this time, which use an S3 Verge. Because the S3 Verges were not known for the reliability. The Trio 64V Plus, like that's in this one, is much more um, usable. 
Sound 3 modem. It's all the sound card stuff. This has the newer Packard Bell sound card in it, so that's why I had to use a special master CD. Has an Ethernet card in it, which um, the original owner must have added. I'll probably remove it. Since we have the original hard drive, we're going to be able to look at the Packard Bell system credentials. There's the format number. All the information you need, all in one place. There's hard drive model number. And there we are. And a Packer Bell video isn't complete with Packer Bell Navigator. This is going to be version 3.6. Welcome from Packer Bell. We offer you two computing environments to choose from Packer Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. Funny enough, I did a video on taking the lesson on using a mouse with my original D135 back in 2012. Just go back to my video history and you'll be able to see it. As well as all the other videos I have on my original D135. Uh, typical run-of-the-mill stuff you always see in Packer Bell Navigator. Didn't mean to open Ski Free, but... Oh well, there's Ski Free, and there's the guy crashing. Info room. All the original man manuals for the system. It says it comes with a... I don't know why the Fast Media Remote manual is in here, because the D135 did not come with one. Do a quick little uh, game test. Uh, let's see, what should we try? Hmm. I will try Putt Putt Goes to the Moon. Why not? Oh, by the way, if you've been following my. Um, Facebook page, you will recall that I bought a floppy disk off eBay claiming to be a um, Putt Putt Goes to the Moon floppy disk, which I have right here. Turns out the original owner of this had formatted it at some point, so we will never know what was really on this disk originally, so that was a waste of five bucks. <laughs> tried to recreate it by putting the Putt Putt Goes to the Moon demo on there for DOS, but it's too big to fit on one floppy disk, so again, we'll never know what was on that disk originally. <laughs> oh yeah, Humongous Entertainment likes to test my CD-ROM drives, even though it's really none of their business what how fast my drive is. Yeah, it seems to play just fine. Mr. Firebird invited Pep and me to the fireworks factory. I bet this is going to be a great day. Famous last words. I'll play a little bit. Hi, Mr. 
Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Putt-Putt. Would you like to help me make a skyrocket? You bet. I'll give you a hand, but be careful not to touch that lever. Closer look at the spec sticker there for you guys. If you want to read it, pause it. If not, don't pause it and mind your own business. Now we'll create a rocket, because why not? <laughs> Supposedly, each button you press on here um, causes a different reaction with the rocket. I've never really paid attention to it, so... Meh. Yeah. Alright, let's get this over with. Let's head on to the moon. think after 20 some years Putt Putt would learn to leave that dog at home when going to this fireworks factory. And as usual Firebird just sits there and does absolutely nothing to help. Awkward. We're in outer space. Yeah, I think the CD's getting a little worn, but sorry, Pup Hut, you're gonna spend the rest of your days in outer space because I don't feel like playing you right now. <laughs> okay. And that's about all there is to show on this computer right now. It's um, just your typical Packard Bell from the mid '90s. A really good one at that. Again, I really, 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 really want to use this for something, but I don't know what, because I don't have the room for it, and I don't have a reason to use it right now. So, like I said, it'll be put in storage until that day comes when I do find a use for it. I doubt you can see it, but there's the back. My camera doesn't have a light on it, but my phone does, so... We'll see if we can uh, shed some light in on here. Yeah, that's not helping. <laughs> we'll take a look at the back of it some other day. How about that? So, I'll go ahead and put this computer back up, put the um, Legend 822 CDT back over here where it belongs, and call this a video. So for now, Billy Core signing off.